So Intel has officially moved the embargo forward with their 8th generation desktop processors, known as Coffee Lake. The embargo allows us to cover details that were presented by Intel during an event a few days ago and includes specifications, prices, and performance numbers on the 8th gen processors. Intel is detailing a lot in their presentation regarding the 8th gen desktop family, but they are also keeping a few details out of reach. Now if you want to see the full details that we have, head over to the article linked in the description. The 8th generation desktop family will be arriving at a time when Intel faces a heated battle with its competitor in the CPU department that has long been vacant for much of any competition really. There have been a few things happening within Intel's desktop platform and the processor family which can be seen as a direct or indirect result of the uprising. So let's get on with these details. First of all, what is Coffee Lake? In simple terms, Coffee Lake is an improved KB Lake that has been made possible with the latest 14 nanometer plus plus process node. Intel briefed and then in their webinar that Coffee Lake is on the same architectural level as KB Lake with no changes at all. Aside from that, the new 14 nanometer process allows for improved power efficiency and higher clock speeds yet again. There's a reason that Intel is bumping up the core count across the range of the processor. The Intel Core i7 and i5 lineup gets 6 cores, hyperthreaded and non-hyperthreaded, while the Core i3 lineup gets 4 full cores. No more dual core hyperthreaded i3s in this lineup. The Intel Core i7 and Core i5 processors with 6 cores features the same TDPs as their predecessors, so bumping up the core count hasn't changed the TDP numbers. Actual power consumption may vary during testing real-world applications, but for that you'll have to wait for our review in the coming weeks. You will also note that Intel has given a fairly good bump to both CPU and integrated GPU clocks, which is only possible with the new and improved 14 nanometer plus plus process. The next significant details is that the Intel 300 series platform. Intel is confirming that Coffee Lake processors are only compatible with the 300 series chipset. The Z370 motherboards come out with a socket known as the LGA1151 and that is the same socket we've seen on consumer platforms since Sky Lake. But Coffee Lake LGA1151 on Z370 is no longer compatible with older CPUs. Even Coffee Lake CPUs are not backwards compatible with 100 or 200 series motherboards. The reason cited by Intel is that the change in electrical lanes and the power delivery that Z370 improves substantially. We did have a word with some motherboard manufacturers, and while they revealed that Coffee Lake may work with older motherboards, it won't deliver the same level of stability or overclocking as the Z370 series motherboards. At launch, Intel will introduce six new Coffee Lake CPUs to the consumers. Now these include the flagship Core i7 8700K, Core i7 8700, Core i5 8600K, the Core i5 8400, the Core i3 8350K, and the Core i3-8100. Intel includes 3K unlocked CPUs in the lineup while the rest are locked CPUs that don't feature overclocking but could be great for budget users in their own place. Now head on over to the article for a full rundown on the entire list of these CPUs along with clock speeds and performance expectations as well as pricing. Now if you found this video informative or helpful in the least feel free to leave a like and a subscribe and if you have anything to add feel free to do so in the comments section. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.